Yeah. For the last three weeks, the National COVID-19 Response Fund Committee has been receiving donations from the public to aid government efforts of dealing with the pandemic. These donations have come in from various players within the business sector as well as individual donations. Today, the committee revealed that 21 billion shillings has been raised so far, with 7 billion shillings being hard cash, which has already been banked. The rest constitutes 50 vehicles valued at 5 billion shillings, foodstuff, medical equipment, as well as other physical items valued at 5 billion shillings, as well as 4 billion shillings, which is in pledges. We encourage every donor to come with a written uh, uh, write-up on what they are donating so that we have proper accountability. But when you arrive here, you also fill out a registration form and receive an acknowledgement. The committee reported that they intend to prioritize the purchase of personal protective equipment for medical workers, as well as COVID-19 testing kits. The COVID fund goal is to raise 170 billion shillings to be utilized by the Minister of Health for test kits, personal protection equipment, popularly known as PPEs, and other needs of the Minister of Health. The committee is now looking to salaried workers in the country to meet the deficit of nearly 149 billion shillings. For example, every employed Ugandan above the categories that I've mentioned contributed 10,000 Uganda shillings. I think this could go a long way to solve many of the problems that have been brought to our country by this pandemic. They also intend to approach various institutions as well as companies to help them out. We identify those companies uh, that we think are able to. But our general appeal is that every Ugandan should participate. But otherwise, we have got targets and we shall be reaching out to those targeted organizations. We understand that it's a difficult time for everybody, but of course part of the challenge we've faced is you can't do effective fundraising in a lockdown situation, so you can't move as easily as you want, but we shall be appealing to the media houses to help us deliver that message. The committee's call for more donations comes at a time when Parliament has passed a supplementary budget of 304 billion shillings to support the efforts of combating COVID-19. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.